This is Mark Bell from Supertraining.tv. We're going to watch some uh, sumo deadlifts here. Going to watch it in slow motion. This is my chubby little self going. And watch how I set this up. I'm going to get the back, um, get the back flat. Got the hammies flat, loading the weight into the hammies, pushing the hips back, and trying to pull those shoulders up nice and high, leaving the arms long, leaving the arms as long as possible. Now that's pretty good positioning for me. Um, I don't have the best form in the world on deadlifting. Um, it looks like I could have a little bit better mobility through my cankles, which is something I just kind of realized. Um, not many people have this problem, but uh, I had a third degree sprain when I was doing pro wrestling. I was wrestling with a guy named Charlie Haas, and uh, things got twisted up a little bit in there, and things got screwed up. But if you can look at how much of my body weight I have uh, behind the bar, that's pretty good. That's not a straight line, is it, huh? That's pretty bad for a straight line. Let's try it again. There we go. That's a little straighter. Anyway, I have a lot of my body weight behind the bar, which is good. I could probably throw my head back just a little bit more. Um, you're going to notice here that I could do a better job of getting my shin closer to the barbell. And that's what I was referring to earlier about my cankle. I could uh, mo do some mobility work for my uh, ankle. And uh, that'll help me uh, get in a slightly better position. Um, that'll help me flare my knees out a little bit better, have my foot flatter on the ground, a little bit co better contact with the floor. Um, by having the weight um, out away from me a little bit, what happens here is as I go to pull and as I get to about right here, I could be at a lot better angle right here. I could be ahead of the game. I could be ahead of, I could be on top of the bar, ahead of the bar, however you want to say it. And I could be um, already locked out uh, had I, um, had I kind of picked that up in a little slightly better position. If I was just a little closer to the barbell, I'd probably have finished a lift already. So it's all about efficiency. You're trying to be as efficient as possible. Let me shut this slow-mo off and we'll back the sucker up and take a look at it in uh, hyper bell uh, sumo pull speed here. Um, pulling against three bands there. Got over 300 pounds of band tension. Um, 327.7 um, pounds of band tension plus uh, 315 pounds of bar weight. Let's back it up a couple more times so you can really get a good picture of it. And I want you guys to kind of analyze this. Self-analyze it yourself and try to see what you think you know are some things I can prove upon. That way you guys are going to learn a lot more um, as, as I'm pulling here, I just got a text message as I'm doing this from Eric Spato. Looks like we're going to interview him for Power Magazine coming up. So there's some good news. Um, again, back flat. Got the uh, got a good angle here. Knees are out pretty good. Can't really do a ton better job with that. Um, that's uh, kind of just the way I'm built. It's hard for me to get my knees out much further than that. Um, one thing I could do as I'm locking this weight out is I could drive my, you can't really see my head. I am driving my head back, but as I finish, my head is down. And I think my head could be um, just slightly up a little bit higher. That'll help drive my hips through a little bit better. Again, it's just nitpicking, but uh, you got to nitpick. You want to pull 800 pounds. Um, it's not going to come easy, and that's what I plan to do the next time I step on the platform. So here we go. We'll watch it one more time, and then you're free to go. Free to go about your business. And sumo deadlifting class 101 will be over. And there you have it. And that's it from supertraining.tv. I will catch you all later.